Welcome back. This is week three of Website Security. My name is Derek Thompson, founder of TNT Creative Group. Thanks for visiting our video blog series. Uh, this is going to be a great week. We have Mr. Devon Carter coming back again uh, this week uh, for the final week for Mr. Devon. Uh, thanks for coming back. No problem. All right. Well, um, uh, just some other information here. So this week we are going to talk about the most common causes of your site being hacked. Um, we are also going to talk about vulnerability management. So that's another area that we will cover this week. Um, be sure to tune in next week as we have another distinguished guest, Mr. Tony Hayden of Sabre Networks will be joining us and he'll talk about um, the various layers of security that you need to have overall as a, as a business. Uh, but Mr. Carter, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the, the most common causes of websites becoming hacked uh, today? Uh, I would say one of the, the most common co causes uh, would be lax personal computer security. Um, a lot of people, you'd be surprised at how many people actually have malware on their computers. Wow. Um, probably, probably everybody. <laughs> but what, what happens is that malware is on your computer. Um, it's able to call out potentially to somebody in command and control system. Uh, maybe somebody's got a keystroke logger. There's just all types of vulnerabilities out there. And what happens is they will steal your credentials off your machines. Um, well, once they have your credentials, they can go to the website that you go to and impersonate you. Um, that is, that's a big one. Um, other one, also, um, that's pretty close to personal computer security would be um, phishing emails. Okay, uh, for, in case you don't know, a phishing email is a, a malicious message sent from somebody trying to impersonate a legitimate contact of yours, and it may have a link in there, and that link that they put in the email uh, typically is a, a type of malware that you download. So as soon as you click the link, you're infected, it's, it's a done deal. And what happens is that same, same scenario. They're, they're in your computer, they're able to use uh, your credentials that they steal and get into a, a bunch of good things. Well, we'll say bad things for you. Right. So, so um, uh, got a couple of other things. Uh, third party, um, third party access. Okay. Um, so a lot of websites, um, they use frameworks from different content management systems. So those frameworks are typically modular, meaning you, you take modules from different sources and you're able to put them into the website and that's what gives you all that, that beautiful functionality that everybody loves. Um, so what happens there is those modules are not always updated properly. They're not kept up to date, they're not secure, they're not patched. Once they're put in your website, they're just kind of there. And, and what happens is, as they become vulnerable, nobody ever patches them. That's a, basically a beautiful doorway into your website and uh, cause you a lot of problems. Okay. Okay. Well, what about uh, WordPress? Uh, I, you know, I know many of our customers on WordPress. I think most of the world is on WordPress. I know that's the most common um, type of site out there. Um, what are some of the vulnerabilities when it comes to, to WordPress? Well, WordPress, again, it's a content management system. Um, the, the biggest vulnerability you'll see with them are the modules and the plugins. So you want to be very, very um, diligent in checking for updates whenever they're available. If there's an update available for the plugin, then install it. Yeah. If there's a patch available, install it. Whatever it says that you should do regarding that update or that module, you need to do it. I mean, as you mentioned, WordPress is extremely popular. Well, there's no coincidence that it is the most attacked <laughs> content management system there is. Exactly. So there you go. Okay. Well, well, that also leads to uh, some reading material that we both have available. Um, one, we have an ebook called the uh, Top 20 Vulnerabilities of WordPress Websites. You want to check that out. Uh, we also have a blog that is out there. Um, the um, most common ways that websites are, are hacked. So uh, check out the blog, check out the uh, ebook. Those are um, um, pieces of information that will certainly help you with your business. Um, Devon, let, let's talk about vulnerability management. Um, I know that's obviously a service that CarTech Consulting uh, offers. Um, let, what, what do you have to, to share on vulnerability management? Well, I, I think it's, it is vital, obviously, to your long-term um, success as a, as a company. Uh, we've already discussed in, in previous weeks um, that small businesses are under attack. 
Um, it's becoming more and more prevalent, and we've discussed the impact of the breach for a small business. Um, six in 10 small businesses that are, that are hacked or attacked uh, typically go out of business within six months. Um, so understanding um, where your vulnerabilities are with reference to not just your website, but all the computers in your office, the servers in your office, all, all the many devices that are accessing your network on a regular basis, um, you need to at least do some type of vulnerability management on that. Now that could be something as simple as you bring, bring CarTech in and we can do a one-time scan for you. And that's great, that'll give you a great snapshot of a point in time uh, type vulnerability where they, where they rely or where they reside. However, as you know, technology is evolving. It's constantly updating, it's constantly upgrading. The attacks are becoming more sophisticated. So you want to have something that's ongoing. Now that could be monthly, it could be quarterly, um, it could be annually, but you want to make sure you're doing something on a regular basis to ensure that you're checking for the vulnerabilities and also uh, remediating those vulnerabilities to close those gaps. Right. So right. that is something that, that CarTech can do. Okay. But how, how important is it to catch, to you know, have that mind to catch something before it happens, before there's a full-blown attack, I'm calling, car tech saying, you know, <laughs> the, sky is, the sky is falling. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you, it, it's extremely important. Um, as you know, um, once you're breached, once you get, get hacked mm -hmm. and it becomes news, right? right? right, right. Um, you can never really um, tell how much your reputation can be impacted by something like that. Mm -hmm. Losing consumer confidence in the way that you handle their personally identifiable information um, that can really be detrimental to your business, to, to any business. So I think catching it early before this vulnerability actually becomes <laughs> front page news that you've been hacked because of that vulnerability, right. uh, it's, it's of the utmost importance. And that's what vulnerability management can do for you. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, last but not least, um, you know, this is the, the final week you're on here. Thanks for, for coming and joining us. Before you go, why don't you tell us about the, your uh, um, assessment, your security assessment that's still available for, uh, for some of those out there that, that want to take advantage of that. Uh, definitely. So we, we, have a, we have a couple of slots left um, and we'll be more than willing to work with you um, if you call and, and, and definitely mention that you've watched this video blog. Um, but we have many types of assessments available. It's, it, we have our overall enterprise security assessment where we do a full deep dive into your organization. Now that one, um, there may be some costs with that one. However, we do have our standard assessment that will give you a good baseline to let you know where you stand currently. And uh, once you have that information from that assessment, I think it will be a, a good indicator of you know, where you're at from a security perspective. It'll tell you which direction you need to go, where you need to focus, and how certain types of recommendations that we provide to you will benefit your company and help keep you, and not just you, but your customers safe. Fantastic insight. Thank you so much for coming and joining us for, for several weeks. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. I know our viewers learned a lot. I learned a lot uh, sitting here with you. So um, we are signing off this week. Uh, Tune in next week as we uh, discuss uh, security more and um, tune in next month as we talk about community engagement and the various reasons why you should be involved in the community. We'll have our very own corporate development director, Lynn Perkinson, joining us throughout the month to talk about that. We'll see you next week. Thanks again, Derek Thompson, TNT Creative Group.